All right, what's up, everybody? So we are going to continue on with our um, unpa unpackaging, unboxing. of 1991 NBA hoops we already went through the first series series one which is over there um and so we're going to start off with um series two I don't want to make this too long of a video I think the first time I tried to go through half a box it was like 30 minutes and so like I said I don't want to try to make these videos that long but here we go opening up a brand spanking new box and we will um Perfect timing for my lawn guys to be here. All right, this is series two, so there's some um, different sets in here, and there's also um, any trades and anything that happened with players and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna grab 10 packs for this video. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we'll see how long uh, how long that takes, and then we'll. We'll, we'll decide if we want to continue on with uh, oh look at that man there's some there's some nice insert sets in here that I'm that I'm really uh, looking forward to getting so uh, that being one of them right there say no to drugs more on drugs oh and then right off the bat a Michael Jordan very sweet and that actually looks really nice pretty decent centering edges are a little weird but that's a good card my price um the checklist checklist have some uh some artwork here's another thing that i love about these this uh this second series is this artwork stuff here so this is a uh charles barkley obviously okay and these are the people that are in that uh in the artwork stuff so 76ers illustrated by cynthia marsh Pretty dope little cards, and this is part. This is all, all just part of that second series. That's that's just in the second series only. So, um, pretty cool, man. So that's another cool card. Grant Long, Mike Dunley, Bill Fitch, Olin Polonies. I always thought that was a dope name, Olin Polonies. Blazers win in overtime tie finals at one to one. Portland wins game two in overtime. 1990 NBA Finals. NBA Hoops Tribune. So those are cool. Really cool insert cards that, that, are, that are part of this set. Um, looks like we got another. All right. Wes Uns Unselled. Oof, that's a tough, tough name. Percy Hawkins. Here we go, Patrick Ewing. Well, that's terribly centered. Terribly centered card. If there's anything that I want you guys to walk away from these from these videos or learn at least is to look at a, a, a raw card and go, ooh, the centering's off on those. Because um, as you can see, I mean, this is just terribly off centered. Um, this one's actually not too bad. The the um, the uh, Chuck uh, was 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 pretty good, but you can see, I mean, the difference. Look at how thick that white border is versus how thick the white border. Anyway, uh, still a cool card though. Uh, happy to pull that. Tom Lighty, Leachy, Sanders. Here's Joe Dumars. Very cool. So a, a couple of things. I, I I was looking into that um, that uh, documentary that's coming out for for the uh, for the Bulls. Um, Oh, look at the area. It's Phil Jackson. Got a little junk right there. Um, so what it's going to be, it's, it's going to be the 97-98 season or 96-97 season. Um, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, April 19th. Oh, and here we go. Dominique Wilkins. Man, that's a nicely centered card too. A little bit uh, top to bottom. Left to right, looks actually pretty good. 
very cool, man. I love these little insert cards. These are dope. I've seen, I mean, obviously you see them, right? But uh, you only see like Michael Jordan's, um, you know, insert card. Or you see like, uh, you know, the, the, the big ones. this is rex yep rex chapman dale curry steph curry's daddy man that's a pretty cool card again off center left to right i just think that these are like dope they're like little pieces of artwork like little artwork pieces that's it's pretty slick you look like ac green oh here we go Flat top man himself, Chris Mullen. Pretty dope. I really like these cards. Rodney McCray, Nate McMillan, Chris Ford. And I'm not even going to act like I know who that is. Bernard King. But again, just... Actually, this one's actually really nicely centered. A little bit left to right on the off center, but still pretty decent. Man, those are those are really neat um, inserts. Oh, okay, that's gonna be Nick Anderson, Will Purdue, John Bagley, Ken Norman. Here we go, here we go, baby. Yes, Michael Jordan, terribly centered. Oh my God, that sucks. Super super dope card. No disrespect to any of the other cards that I pulled, but I mean this is this is Michael Jordan. So we got to get him uh, in a sleeve immediately. Yeah, the centering on this is terrible. Terrible centering. But, once again, it's a Michael Jordan card. More importantly, it's an insert. And also, uh, the overall condition is not too bad. Centering is just off. But, very nice card. Very dope. Not exactly sure what the, what the, uh, the value is on that particular card, but... Willie Burton. Here's the other thing, too, is that they have these lottery pick series that are a little bit different than just your average, like, rookie cards. Um, they actually have them, you know, draft night. So that's pretty dope. Sam Vincent. All right, sorry about that. I had to handle a little something. Um, but anyway, we were looking at this Sam Vincent card. And one of the things that, uh, this is the Series 2 box, obviously. So the first Sam Vincent card, I was really happy to get because it had the picture of Michael Jordan um, uh, wearing the number 12 uh, jersey. If you haven't watched the video on that, um, I'll link that down in the description so you guys can go look at that. It was actually a picture of Michael Jordan defending a shot that Sam Vincent had taken uh, wearing a number 12 Bulls jersey. And... Uh, I talked a little bit about the background story on that. So you guys check that out. These are pretty, pretty dope cards. And this one's actually really nicely centered. Very cool card. All right. Craig Hodges, Benoit Benjamin, Rod, what is that, Rod Higgins? Higgins. Rolando Blackman. I mean, just very period correct artwork. I mean, that looks like it it would be sitting in a frame in a dentist office or something. That's pretty dope. I like those. Really like those cards. Chris Jackson. Oh, look at that dude. Looking like an insurance salesman. Super dope. Hey, Danny Ainge. Danny Ferry. Man, these uh, these little uh, inserts, these artwork inserts are pretty dope. And it looks like there's some other like kind of oddball inserts in there. Like I said, we'll see how we're doing on time. I might open, go ahead and just open the full half a box, which is 18 packs. I just don't want to make these too long. Brad Davis, Charles Jones. There he is. Magic. Johnson and this one actually I'm betting is see this one's kind of hard to to gauge the centering on because uh because of the artwork the way the artwork is it doesn't really have any defined borders other than this right here so 
Man, these are so dope. I love them. Oh, hold on. Charles Oakley, Mark McGuire. Oh, a little throwback action there. Lenny Wilkins. Elected to the Hall of Fame in 1988. Pretty dope card. Seattle Supersonics. And again, as always, we're still chasing another shot at um, Nick Anderson. We're still chasing another shot at uh, at another Sean Kemp. So that would be two really good looking, uh, a, a really nice uh, Sean Kemp card that I would like to try to see that once all this uh, madness for the uh, virus spills over, I'll be able to submit those over to uh, BGS um, to get them graded. Tree Rollins. Wow, look at that. Seven foot one, they call that guy Tree Rollins. Pretty dope. Chris Mullins, Fern Fleming, Don Chaney. From the Rockets. Those are cool. Pretty dope. Pooh Richardson, Buck Johnson, and Joe Klein. Hope you guys are staying safe out there. I mean, this is, honestly, this this entire channel, uh, you know, if, if, if there's going to be a, a baby boom in nine months after this uh, uh, virus situation, there's going to probably be a boom of people starting uh, YouTube channels, which is, I'm um, part of that boom, because it's kind of what that came from. Manute Bowl, Bowl Bowl's daddy, seven foot seven. So if they call Tree Rollins... If, if his nickname was Tree Rollins because he was seven foot one, then what do they call this guy? Because he's seven foot seven. Tree Rollins was seven one. So he's seven foot one to his head. I mean, that's that's just unfair, in my opinion. But anyway, hell of a ball player. Charles Barkley. I don't think we've seen that card yet. That's a nice card. Vlade, Gary Payton, The Glove. That's a beautiful, beautiful card. Looks a little off-center, left to right. Definitely off-centered on the back, which is unfortunate. But still a dope card. Gary Payton, rookie card. We'll take it. Kendall Gill. Just got finished watching... Uh, oh, Jerry Sloan. Just got finished watching uh, Space Jam with my kids. And uh, Vladi Divac was in there. It's Jerry Sloan. That's dope. Sherman Douglas, Trent Tucker. Yeah, that was a pretty cool movie to watch again. I mean, kind of in the midst of all this uh, 90s basketball nostalgia. Right. BJ Armstrong, John Paxson, Jeff Martin, Buck Williams. There's another David Robinson. Nicely centered. Little Nick. Here's what happens. I mean, it's just, it's part of the game, but. You know, that's what happens. Still. Still a dope card. Uh-oh. Oh. I saw Bulls. I was like, oh, I got excited. Thought it was going to be another Mike Jordan. Back-to-back -back world champions. The Bad Boy Pistons. That's dope. Oh, look at that. World Championship Detroit Pistons. So I was I was making mention that uh, that Bill Lambeer might be uh, showing up pretty. Oh, there's another Mark Jackson with those parent killing bastards right there. Mark Jackson. That sucks, man. That his cards synonymous with those those guys right there. But hey, you can't control who's at your basketball games, right? I think we're doing pretty decent on time. I might go ahead and just rip the last uh, eight to make it a full half box. 
like we did the last time. I kind of like doing them in those two tiers. Casey Jones, Byron Scott, Joe Dumars, Chris Ford, Mookie, Kenny Walker, Moses Malone, and Larry Bird. All right, let's go ahead and do four more. So there's 18 toolbox. I mean, sorry, 36 toolbox. Half of those would be 18. Oh, here's a nice, another Hakeem Elijah one. Uh, badly centered like the last one, but we'll take it. West Unselled. I think we saw his card just a few minutes ago. West Unselled. Mark Eaton, Jeff Hornacek, Mike Dunleavy, Sam Bowie, John Newman, Tom Tolbert, Don Chaney, we saw his card earlier, and Derek Harper. Not really big there. Uh, let's do this. Let's start a little stack over here. Mad Max. <laughs> Mad Max punched a guy. John Williams, Reggie Williams, Phil Jackson. Look at the mustache on Phil. Yo. <laughs> that is what you call a stash, ladies and gentlemen. Powerful, powerful stash. Legit stash right there. All right, Phil, you go in the, in the keep pile, sir. Kurt Rambis, Tyrone Hill, rookie card. Scott Skiles, give me green. Stu with the kill suit. Oh, but right behind him, another. What, what, what have I been saying, guys? Another Sean Kemp rookie card. That's what I wanted another shot at. Now, this one's nice, slightly off centered left to right. Top to bottom centering looks really good. Back centering looks really good. This one probably won't grade out uh, a gem mint. Because of the centering, centering might be off. But man, this is a nice card, huh? Our back is a little, back is a little off. But I really don't know what their grading uh, is going to be for these older cards. But um, I don't know if they if they grant a little bit of leniency when it comes to the edges and the corners, uh, as they would for some of the modern cards. All-time favorite player, man. Uh, actually, you know, one of the one of the top three or four uh, all-time favorite players of mine. Um, Sean Kemp, Hakeem Olajuwon, and uh, uh, and Penny Hardaway are my uh, top three. If I had to add two more to make it a top five, I would probably say um, uh, Robert Ory, Big Shot Bob, is a is, is another one that I, I uh, big fan of his. I actually followed him throughout his career. Uh, when he made different appearances, different teams, um, Muggsy Bowes, Reggie Miller. Uh, and if I had to pick one more, man, I really don't know who I would throw in that number five spot. Um, I was a big Penny Hardaway fan, so I guess I'll throw Shaquille O'Neal in there as well. But, I mean, you got so many. I mean, there's, there's, there's you know, Alonzo Mourning. You got, uh, you know, just some really power. I, I really like guys that were big power in the paint type of guys. Um, that was kind of my, my thing. Um, obviously Penny Hardaway is not that type of guy, but, uh, I just, I, I really enjoyed, uh, Penny Hardaway. Michael Cage, look at that, look at that jersey. Fully sewn jersey. I just don't make those anymore. All right, I think we got, I think we're in a pretty decent enough time. I'll go ahead and rip open the last four so we can make it a full half box for part one. And, uh, and then we'll follow up with part two um, uh, after the fact. Don Nelson. Dominique Wilkins. We haven't seen any more of those art cards. I'm hoping there's a, a few more back there in that, that spot there. Dennis Scott. Carl Malone, Dennis Scott. Jerry Sloan. Sedale Threat. Seattle Supersonics. Yeah, big time, uh, big time fan of, of, of the power forwards of this era. Um, I think much like uh, much like shooters these uh, these days, 
you know, perimeter shooters um, dominate the game uh, and really set the pace for the game these days, uh, I think the big men down in the paint, uh, power forwards and big centers really uh, were just kind of the dominant figures um, of the game. I, 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 I'm still partial to those guys. Um, I'm a huge fan of Clint Capella. Um, I think he's, you know, uh, I call him Baby Hakeem. Um, so I think I think he's pre he's pretty good. Oh, here we go. Michael Jordan's playground. NBA inside stuff. Who remembers waking up Saturday morning watching Ahmad Rashad on NBA inside stuff? Man, look at that. Takes you behind the scenes on Michael Jordan's playground. All right, this one's getting getting a sleeve. I'm not exactly sure how to grade the centering on this, but dope card. Ron Hopper, Steve Kerr, Rick Adelman, Spud Webb, John Stockton, Eddie Johnson. All right, here's another one of those art cards. I'm not sure who this is. Alvin Robertson. Centering's off, but I really do uh, enjoy those cards. Those are pretty dope. Del Curry. Steph Curry's daddy. Ed Neely. That's another cool thing about opening up these older packs is that, you know, a lot of these guys, uh, you know, they were in the league in the early 90s who's, you know, kids grew up watching them. And European imports. Vladi Divac and don't know who the other cat is. Uh, Sarunis Marcia Lunis. Pretty dope. Pippen, Larry Nance, Derek Coleman. Fun fact for me personally about Derek Coleman. The first NBA jersey that I ever bought and wore was a Derek Coleman jersey. I was so excited to have one. Even though it wasn't of any of my favorite players, I was just excited to have a, a jersey. Oh, here we go. Larry Bird. Once again, just really cool artwork, man. You can't beat that. Ralph Sampson, Jeff Malone, Dale Harris. And then finishing off with an Xavier McDaniel artwork card. Pretty dope. All right. So that's going to do it for the first part of this break. We'll take a quick look at... Some of the highlights here. These art cards are just too cool. Michael Jordan's Playground. Phil Davis with the cold stash. Mark Jackson with the Menendez brothers in the background. Back-to-back -back world champions. Another David Robinson rookie card. And then more of these art cards, which are pretty dope. Magic Johnson. Uh, Chris Mullen, Rex Chapman, Dominique Wilkins, Joe Dumars. This one has a really nice, nicely centered uh, Charles Barkley there. And of course, we got another shot at another Michael Jordan, which is actually in a little bit better condition centering wise than the one I previously had. But edges don't seem to be that crispy. They're a little boo-boo. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh... We'll do part two here in the next couple days or so. I'll try to put out some other shorter videos um, in the meantime. But uh, subscribe right here. Check out part one of the first box here. Right here. That'd be here. Love you guys. Thanks for watching.